It was uh, 20 years ago, more than 20 years now, that uh, Moon Trent and uh, David Cole founded Timmy Cat Records. Uh, they are local and uh, it is a very well regarded small independent record label. Hello, Moon Trent. Hello, Reed. How are you? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me on KYOS. Why, thank you, thank you. I'm looking at the CD. The cover art is terrific. And Cat Vox. Yeah. yeah David thought that up. That's a V-O-X, yes. <laughs> Vox is his voice. And I didn't get it. I'm going, oh, Cat Vox. Wait a minute. Cat Vox? Okay. <laughs> because the, the contents inside are amazing. There are 25 cuts. And uh, the very first one is a snippet from Harvey Milk. That's right. But you've got to give them hope. Mm -hmm. And I heard that and I just kind of went... What is this? <laughs> and then I had to pop it out of the car and take it in the house with me and sit and listen to cut after cut after cut after cut. Now, your album notes on it say that uh, you've been releasing music since 1991. That's right. First on cassettes, then vinyl, then the CDs, then MP3s. That's right. Yes. We're keeping up with the times. So why why first cassettes and then going back to vinyl? Were you it, just was, it was 1991. It was easier to cut a, a tape because yeah. I had the little component with re, you know tape on one side and record on the other side. So I could make you know hundreds of tapes and sell them at my shows. I didn't have the technology to make hundreds of records. Oh, true. Vinyl. vinyl. So I went ahead with the tapes. Yes. But vinyl, it, that's called vinyl, folks. <laughs> the young people know what it is. Is. apparently it's retro now and and I finally learned how to clean a vinyl record well all right it's coming back things? in fashion oh right? yeah yeah it's it's hugely popular <laughs> because they like the hisses and the pops and the scratches and the warmth and the depth of tone that Absolutely. you just don't get with digital I play vinyl in my house every day no yeah. I love vinyl now I've got a question here about certainly 25 tracks and yeah, it took us about a year to put this together. Yeah. And uh, Mark Blackheart, who was here a few yes. weeks ago, did the mastering. He certainly did. I love working with Mark. Yeah. And just looking down the list of things, I was kind of going, oh, that's set up. I'm recognizing names. I'm going, wait a minute, Frank? Yeah. And the Judy Bats? Yeah. And, and it's like, these are... So they're all friends I've made along and the Pansy way. Pansy Division. Pansy and, Division, yeah. yeah. I'm, just, I'm just astonished and surprised. Do you have like three favorite cuts off the album? And I know that's putting you on the spot because with 25 of Sure, them, I have some favorite ones. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I noticed that hidden beneath the CD, as I take it out of the jewel case, is the parental advisory explicit content. I've got two explicit ly lyrics tracks on there that we can't play on the radio oh yes I, but uh that's what i wanted to be yes, sure yes of. yes i'll make sure not to pick one of those and uh <laughs> i'm just i'm i'm surprised that some of this is not being played in clubs because i mean i i'm very mm, oh let's face it i'm old <laughs> um and when i hear when i hear music i want it to be danceable blah 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 that's great uh, and some of this is just i uh some of it is very pop and very, it's just, you know, the kind of music that it gets in your head and then, then it gets in your feet and then you start you're sitting and doing the chair dance and just kind <laughs> of, you know, just thinking about it now, my shoulders are already starting to go. That's great. Yeah. And pop music is one of my favorites. Is and, it? And this is a radio edit version? This is a version by Fuzzbox from mm -hmm. England. They are a female group, all females. And they put out a record in 85 when I was 14 years old. Do the math. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I got a record from them on vinyl from mm -hmm. England all these years later, found them on Facebook, befriended them, uh -huh. and asked for a track from my record, and they gave me one. The wonders of Facebook. I love Facebook. And yet you had lived in England by this I point. did live in England for a year, but we hadn't met there. Yeah. We didn't meet till I moved back to Merced, to the Merced area. Isn't it always the way? 
But you can get this record at Coffee Bandits. Yes, I was noticing If you live that. in Merced, they were nice enough to give me a shelf. Really? So they're on sale at Coffee Bandits. Yes. As and well as the internet. I'm pleased course. to tell you that you need to get down there because I only saw three of them left. Oh, wow. So okay. Take, well, we'll take another dozen restock or so. Them. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. It's a good thing. Coffee Bandits is, is just an amazing venue. I love Coffee Bandits. And no, I just played a show there, actually, on the 15th. Yes, and, and we hope to have Melissa Eichner from there. Uh, on very soon. These should be day. good. Yes, I like them. So, three favorite cuts of yours from this. Let song. me see the back. <laughs> Let me see that real quick. Oh, you. Okay, so I would think that you guys would probably want to hear number three, which is Fuzzbox pop music we just talked about. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Um, well, then, let's have a listen. Yes, definitely, definitely, definitely. It's 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 made for chair dancing. It's made for just you know getting yourself up and, and going. It's just kind of, it's good, silly fun. Isn't it fun? Mm -hmm. That one's really good. Um, the the song that I'm most excited about presenting actually is by Jason Lytle, which is track number four. It's called Stereo Labrador. Mm -hmm. Jason Lytle was the lead singer and brains behind Granddaddy out of Modesto. Mm -hmm. So when he went solo, I bugged him for a couple years to please send me a track for this, and he sent me a unreleased track, Stereo Labrador. So, so this is Jason Lytle. So although this is a retrospective album, there are new cuts on it. There are well. new cuts. Nowhere else. Nowhere else can you find this. Jason stuff. Lytle, Stereo Labrador.
second verse, same as the first. Mr. Trent, your third choice. I'm going to have to go with track number 13. This is a band called Zabrinsky. Yes. When I was living in England, I got to tour with this band uh, through Wales, Scotland, and England, and they fast friends of ours. And mm -hmm. this, I can't pronounce the song. It's in Welsh. You can't pronounce number 13, Welsh? 13, I can't pronounce it. Or do I know what the lyrics of this song are? They're all in Welsh. But I love the song. It's great. It looks like Shell... It looks like Shell Without. Okay, we'll go with that. I do know a double D is a TH sound. Oh, wow. Yes, unfortunately, the rest of my Welsh skills uh, seem to have not translated they well. They tried to teach me on the bus, but I didn't catch on. There you go. <laughs> so this is a Brinsky with their track.
So 20 years. 20 years. 20 years as a small record label. Right. And you just keep going and going and going. I know. And it's going. There ought to be a law. Yeah. And <laughs> why, why, why are you not hugely rich and, and you know I ask myself famous. that daily and yes. the only answer I can come up with is that obscurity is its own reward this is true this is true one day they'll come knocking yes. and I'll be ready I've just noticed uh, your is that a tattoo this is a tattoo this is a tattoo it you you who cannot see this I will tell you that if you remember 45 records that thing you had to put on the inside of them that would snap in place so it would work on a small spindle that object that thing that is the sign that's my tattoo my little red record spinner yeah yeah I love vinyl I don't know what to tell you I'm an old DJ from way back so I just keep the party rolling there you go Thank you very much. Thanks for having me, Reed.